What is going on guys and welcome back to Baker's DIY Lifestyle. So we are back out here in the yard today, a couple weeks after I shot the video on how to clean up the thatch in your yard. And I just wanna give an overview right quick of what it looks like, kind of what we're getting ready to do, and then go into the video after that. But you can see behind me, this tall fescue is really, really starting to come in and it is looking sharp. And hopefully you can tell on the video, but there is hardly no more thatch left on or it's not really thatched, there's no more dead grass sitting on top of the lawn. And that was just mowing every three or four days for about three weeks. So I definitely just wanted to shoot this little follow up so that I could show that, hey, it does work. And as long as you stay up on your mowing, that dead grass will start to deteriorate. It'll go away and eventually you just won't have to worry about it because mowing frequency is definitely your number one choice when it comes to keeping your yard looking good and not creating a buildup of thatch over the course of time. But today what I'm gonna do is actually the easiest way and probably the way that a lot of you will do if you have a push mower or a bagger because I let my yard go for a little over a week again because we got busy doing other things with work and of course life happens. But at this point, I need to get my weed sprayed. I've put it off and put it off and the weather is still pretty mild. We're starting to get up into the 80s, but we're still dropping into the 40s at night. So we are at that perfect cool season grass temperature and everybody's yards that I'm mowing right now are just blowing up like crazy. So right now is the perfect time to spray weeds. It's not gonna hurt the grass as much because obviously it's in prime grow time. So we can go a little bit heavier on our weed control, really knock down anything that we have right now, get it cleaned up for summer, and then we'll be good to go hopefully into the fall this year. All right guys, so we are going to fast forward just a couple weeks because yet again, I got busy. <laughs> and today is right after my son's soccer game. So we had an exciting three-year-old soccer game today. That's why I got my YMCA coach tire on. But we got a little bit of time to get in the yard and I've got to get some stuff thrown down while I have the opportunity. So since it has been a couple weeks and we've gotten deeper into spring, it is almost the first of May now. And we're starting to get a lot more bug activity in the yard. We see the little ants crawling around and I believe they're called cinch bugs, cinch, cinch bugs, something like that. The little bugs that as you mow, you'll see them just like fly up out of the ground. They've started coming out. So it is definitely time to get some bug killer down. And I probably should have done a little bit sooner, but again, we do what we can when we can. So this year, my first application of bug killer is gonna be this Tau Star Extra. And I've probably said it in previous videos, but what I like to do is run a different brand every single time I throw bug killer. That way the bugs don't get used to one type of chemical and they've become resistant to it. So I believe last time I used a seven brand uh, granular product and threw down. So again, this time we're switching to the Tau Star and you always wanna make sure you check the active ingredient because just because it has a different brand name does not mean you're getting a different active chemical. So if you see something that has bifenthrin in it, it could have three or four different names, but it'd be the same product. So definitely look out for that when you're choosing your bug killer. But before I get into spraying the weeds, I'm gonna go ahead and throw that down since it's granular and that way I can get it on the ground and then I'll run my spray right after that. So let's do it. All right, so we are all done throwing our bug killer and I'm getting ready to mix up my T-Zone. So I generally switch back and forth between either T-Zone or Speed Zone. Uh, these both work really, really good and I can get them from Southern States in either this gallon size or even up to a, uh, I believe it's two or three gallon size. 
uh, commercial size products. So that's really awesome. And of course it has a lot more concentration than the stuff that you get from the big box stores. So I definitely recommend using something like that if you can find it in your area or go to domyown.com because they sell all of the professional stuff to do it yourself homeowners like us. But I'm gonna go ahead and get everything mixed up and then we'll start spraying down. So I am gonna go pretty heavy on my mixture and I'm gonna try to get 8,000 square feet out of one tank, which I have been able to do. Uh, I've got my walking speed up pretty quick in order to get it done. But when I turn the, but when I turn the volume all the way up and I, just, and I just hammer down, I can usually get through my whole front yard, which is about 9,000 square feet. So I usually have just a little bit left to spray. I'll just mix up a little bit more and I'll take that to the backyard to finish up. guys so that is it for this video we got everything done except for like three passes right along the edge of the road which is pretty much par for the course if i mix up three cans i usually come up just a tad short and that's exactly what happened so it's not a huge deal probably what i'll do is just let this sit because we are actually running to a food truck event near our house which we are super excited about so again rocking with the busy life i gotta run inside change clothes and hit the road but in the next couple of weeks, what we'll see is a lot of the weeds will start turning yellow. They'll start shriveling up and dying out. And then what I'll probably end up doing is mixing up two, maybe three gallons. Uh, unless for some reason there's a lot of the weeds that just make it through. Uh, I might mix up four more gallons and go over it again. But at least I will be able to see what I missed in the backyard. And I can spot spray that and then finish up on the front yard on the same day. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you are enjoying working in your yard this year. So far, it's been a good one. Hopefully we'll keep it that way through the summer. But if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a whole host of do-it-yourself and how-to content that we put out here. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.